what's up guys welcome back we'll have a look at 18 by Ian Dior uh, we got this nice little riff going throughout the whole song so got a request so just thought of showing you guys let's have a quick look at it I'll kind of show you how to play it uh, if you find this chord how which I played I'll show you the easy version no problem so let's get started firstly the right hand we'll use a thumb to hit the A string or the E string the index for the D string, the middle finger for the G string, and the ring finger for the B string. Keep that in mind. The high E string is not needed, and so is the pinky. Not needed. So, starting off with the A minor chord, we'll go like this. I hit the E string, D2, so open A, D2, G2, B1. So, boom, dun, dun, dun. And then we'll do a quick slap. So, slap. Slap. Got it? Then you hit the D string 2nd fifth, G string 2nd fifth, open B string so you remove your index. So we got. So we have. And also after the B string, make sure you mute that by keeping your palm. So we got. Then go to the C major chord, which is over here. Now. When we have the easy version in hand, why don't we play that? So I'll show you that one. Hold the normal C major chord, it's mute, 3, 2, open, first open. I'll hit the E string, then the G string, open, B1, open E, then mute, like you did for the A minor chord, book it, to K. So this time it's A, G, B, E. Then you hit the G string, and the B1, and 3 on B, and again mute. So book it, okay, to K, to K, to K. So we Played like this. When you go to the F major chord, you do this. You hit the E1, 3 on A, 3 on D, G2, then you hit the E1 again, A3, D3, then open G. Notice there's no mute for the F major chord, so we got. If you want, you can do a small mute, but it's make sure you hit E, A, D, G all the time. E, A, D, G. E, D, G. So the second time the G is open. And then you do this. So I play 5th fret on the E string, 5th fret on the D string. I do a pull out from 4th to open on the G string. Then I go to 3rd fret on the E string, 3rd fret on the D string, hammer on from open to 2nd on the G string. That's it. So I hope it's actually a lot more easy than what it sounds like. And I'll just play it for you guys. Obviously, you can just follow the chord progression A, C, F, G and strum throughout. But I'll, this is the version which everyone wants to learn. So we got... That's the whole song guys, I hope this helped you out, uh, do subscribe, it helps me out a lot, I'll see you guys back in the next video, bye.